How did I use media technologies in the research, planning, construction and evaluation processes? Within the research stage, my primary use tool would be my phone, through which I was able to study music videos via YouTube everywhere, including places like on the bus, on the way in or out of college, at home, during break times at college, and basically anywhere where I didn't have a computer. With YouTube, I had access to almost every released music video of almost every genre. This helped greatly when I saw videos on channels such as Kerrang! and Scars on TV, and wanted to watch them over and over to get a better view of the technology, camera angles, editing aspects, movement, and above all, conventions of music videos, including star image and close-ups. Blogger.com was also a massive help in the research process, as I needed to document my research throughout the processes, and have done with all of my influences, including some detailed analysis where I've outlined some videos use of codes and conventions studied. These codes and conventions have been studied, have also been written about on the blog, in order to demonstrate my knowledge and the fact that I have learnt about them. And they have been presented in an easy to find, clear and concise way on the blog. So really, the most used tool in the research process for me was the internet. After all, without YouTube, I wouldn't have been able to watch any of the music videos, nor quite so many times as I did, especially those of the heavier end of heavy metal, such as the Insomnium videos. This is because on television they are not quite so often played as they aren't to the taste of most of the viewers. The production process was very different in the technology used to the research process. Despite the research process and technology being in permanent use throughout the production for influence and help. For example, the first thing used would have been the camera, which came with a lead and tripod. The camera was one with HD capabilities which ultimately made the final product much better in quality than it would have been if I had filmed it with any other form of camera. The high definition of the camera also left a lot of room for experimentation with the lighting and editing, such as I just tried with the silhouette effect on the vocalist. I had no trouble with the camera as I was sure it was more than capable to film clearly with a lot less light, being in a dark room with the light half shaded from the lens. Final Cut Pro was the program that I used in the editing process, whilst the footage was stored on the college computers. The program was used in order to position the footage clips above the music track, I used Final Cut in order to add the effects such as the bad film effect, the bad TV effect and the vignette. I also used this time to crop the clips in which there were signs of the ceiling in the shot which would have made the video look very unprofessional when finished. The program helped a lot in the cutting and placement processes as well as I was able to make sure that the clips were exactly in time to the track. The track was also clipped as it was originally 7 minutes and 28 seconds long and I had to make it down to around about 3.5 minutes. In order to comply with a lot of my influences aspects, such as those in Nightmare and 5 Minutes Alone, I used clips one above another, edited the opacity to 60% on the top layer, which allowed the overlay effect seen in the two videos to be realised. So, Final Cut Pro was the primary and only editing program and was more than capable to realise all of my hopes for the music video, though with a lack of time availability and the true high-end equipment, I was not able to make the video as perfect as I had hoped. Ideally, the lighting would have been done in a way that every member of the band in the full band shots would have been seen clearly, and also the setting would have been so that the curtain in the background would not show the ripples, but this was able to be combated quite easily using Final Cut and the Difference and Desaturate effect. This also made the video more black and white than the black and white effect, and was more diverse and allowed me to edit the darks and lights to my preference. For question 2 of the evaluation, I used the internet presentation creator Prezi, with which I created a much more exciting and interactive presentation, answering how effective the combination of my primary and ancillary tasks was. This website was very easy and interesting to use, where I just transferred my text answer from Microsoft Word into the text boxes. I particularly enjoyed the zooming and spinning capabilities of the site and the way that every aspect added to the presentation could be made more interactive and every image can be zoomed into by editing into the path. And that if a YouTube video was added to the path, when it came up in the presentation it would start to play automatically in full screen if there is access to the internet. Overall, the site is much more user friendly in the creation of presentations than PowerPoint. However, one thing I would say is that the colour customization and font style and colour was not clear as to how to change them. Other than that, I am very pleased with the presentation and will certainly choose Prezi over PowerPoint if I am ever needed to make another presentation for any reason. Another technology was used for question 3, and this was the world of social network. After I was happy with the end result of my music video, I uploaded it onto YouTube so that it could be seen worldwide and so that it could 
also be easily embedded into the Prezi and other presentations. This also made the use of Facebook and Twitter easier, as I could simply copy and paste the web link into Twitter and use the most trending hashtag in order to try to get more views on YouTube, and possibly more likes and comments with responses to my work. Facebook has also served me well, as I used it to message a large number of people, as I knew some would not reply, with my response questionnaire and link to YouTube, so that I may use their responses in my evaluation, which has proved to be very useful. Both question 1 and question 4 are similar in the way that I've used Final Cut again, but with one of them I have tried to use a green screening effect which allowed me to place myself in front of my music video and others that I took influence from. I used Final Cut in order to gain this effect in question 1, but not in question 4 where I made any clips or images appear smaller between me and the others in my group discussion. This question, question 4, is a little different. As you can see, I have a little ragdoll type character that I have used to make my response. All I had to do was upload a voice memo from my phone onto extranormal.com where I was able to get the little ragdoll to speak in time and lip sync to what I am saying. I feel the ragdoll is effective because it represents the genre of the music video that I made very well.